Okay, this is chapter 6, the section is 6.1. This is about rational expressions and functions. Okay, what is a rational expression? A rational expression is simply a fun it's a fraction. Just a fraction, so we can write a fraction as it has a numerator and a denominator like a, a over b. But once there is a fraction, we always have to uh, be careful so that uh, the denominator cannot be a zero. So if a fraction is two over zero, then this is undefined. Undefined. The numerator is okay. If uh, zero over two, zero over two, then the numerator is zero, then this is equal to zero. But whenever the denominator is zero, then the fraction becomes undefined. So if the rational expression is a fraction, so always be careful. B can be any real number. B can be any real number except zero, because if B is zero, then the denominator is zero. So the B, the set of the possible values of B is all real numbers, set of all real numbers, but B cannot be equal to zero. Because if it is zero, then denominator is zero, then the fraction itself becomes undefined. And this set of all real numbers, uh, except b equals zero, then we call it a domain. So rational expression and rational function is it's a function that has a fraction. So a function f of x, the function f can be written in a fraction. Here's a numerator u of x and the denominator v of x. When there is a fraction, always make sure that the denominator cannot be zero. So v of x, so for the input x, x can be any real number, any real number except those x values that makes the denominator v of x equal to zero. So the domain Domain, we call it a domain. Domain is all set of input values, which it does not include any values that makes the denominator zero. Okay, so for example, here is a function f of x equals four over x minus two. So this is a fraction. And then we always need to check the denominator. So in order to find the domain, okay, what should be the restrictions for the input? Okay, the restriction comes from the denominator. We know that the denominator, okay, this denominator cannot be equal to zero. So if we set is equal to zero, then plus to each side, x equals two. So two is a restrict value. We call it restricted value. That means we will not include this value in the solution set. So the domain, so the domain is all real number, all real numbers, except x equals two. So we can write it like this. So all real numbers for which x is not equal to two. So this is the domain. Okay, how about the next one? The function g is equal to five x over x squared minus 12, 16. Okay, the numerator is okay. Numerator can be zero, it doesn't matter. If numerator is zero, then the fraction is zero. So the function is zero. So what we have to do is always check that the denominator is not equal to zero. So if we set the denominator equal to zero, then we can find x. And x squared minus 16 is zero, so this is difference of squares. So we can try uh, a, a plus b, a minus b. So x plus Okay, 16 is 4 squared. This is x squared minus 4 squared is equal to 0. So a plus b, a minus b. x plus 4, x minus 4 equals to 0. Since the product is equal to 0, we set the first factor to 0. Then if x plus 4 is 0, then x is negative 4. Or x minus 4, the second factor is equal to 0, then x equals 4. So there are two restrict values, four and negative four. So the domain is all real number, all real numbers, except what? Except four and negative four. 
So x cannot be negative 4 and x cannot be equal to 4. That's the domain. Okay, this time let's simplify a rational expression. Okay, rational expression is a fraction. So here is a fraction, u, u, the numerator is u times w, the denominator is v times w. And then, since the numerator and the denominator has the same factor, w, we can cancel out w, so that the result will be u over v. So, just like, just like you know, simplifying fractions, we can, we can simplify these rational expressions. And also make sure that both factors, v and w, v and w cannot be equal to zero. Although, look at this, although the factor w cancel out, we have to specify that w cannot be equal to zero because before we cancel out w, w was a factor uh, originally. So before we cancel out, make sure each factor in the denominator cannot be equal to zero. So let's try example three. Simplify this rational expression. Okay, in order to simplify the rational expression, we'll, we need to factor each numerator and the denominator. Factor the numerator and the denominator so that we can cancel out the common factors. So the numerator is, uh, the common factor is 2x, so we can factor out 2x, then x squared minus 3. And the denominator is 6x squared. So from here, the numerator is written in a product, denominator is also product, so we can cancel out the common factors. So here is the numbers, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And the numerator has 1x, the denominator has, has 2x. So why don't we cancel out 1x? So cancel out 1x. Okay, so the answer will be the numerator is x squared minus 3. And the denominator is 3x. Okay, there were 2x, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So 3x. And then make sure that x is not equal to 0. Because the denominator, from the, ori from the origin, uh, original expression, the denominator x cannot be equal to 0. Okay, this, this time let's try exercise. Okay, exercise number 15 in page 290. Okay, so this is a rational expression, which is a fraction. So in order to simplify this, we have to factor each part. So let's factor the numerator. The numerator is u squared is u times u, 36 is 6 times 6. And then we can make both negative, so that negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36, same as 36. And the cross multiply is negative 6, c, 6 u, and uh, this cross multiply is negative 6 u. The sum is negative 12 u. So this result is same as the term in the middle. So this is equal to u minus 6 times u minus 6. So this is actually u minus 6 squared. But I just wrote it uh, twice just to help you to understand, to find out the common factor. So the numerator and denominator has a common factor u minus 6. So we can cancel out u minus 6 so that the leftover is u minus 6 over 1 which is u minus 6. Okay, what's the restrict value? u can be any real number but 6. Okay, make sure that the domain is all real number u, real number, real number u but cannot be a 6. Because if u equals 6, the denominator is equal to 0. Okay, how about the next exercise, number 16? The same thing, we gotta factor the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is a z times z. The denominator, uh, the first one is z times z, and 121 is 11 times 11. So cross multiply 11z and 11z, sum is 22z. So this is same as the term in the middle. So the numerator will be z plus 11 squared, or you can write it z plus 11 again. And the denominator is uh, 
the common factor is 3 so factor out 3 then z plus 11 so from here we can cancel out z plus 11 z plus 11 so this is equal to the numerator z plus 11 over 3 okay this is the simplified rational expression and what is the restrict value the restrict value is the denominator cannot be equal to 0 this one cannot be equal to 0 so z is not equal to negative 11. Okay, this is the restrict value and this is the simplified expression. Okay, the rest of these examples are same, are very similar. What we have to do is factor the numerator and denominator, cancel out the common factors and make sure that the denominator cannot be equal to zero. So, in, in example four, let's factor the numerator x times x, 5 is 3 times 5, and we got to put the negative sign because the third term is negative. So let's put the negative sign on the smaller number. So this is negative 3x, this product is 5x, sum is 2x, same as the term in the middle. So the numerator is x minus 3 times x plus 5. And the denominator, we can factor out 3, so 3 times x minus 3. Then we can cancel out x minus 3. So the numerator is x plus 5 over the denominator 3. And then from here, okay, check the denominator. Since the denominator cannot be equal to 0, x can be any real number except what? 3. Okay, just write the restrict values for your reference. Okay, exercise, example 5, same thing, the numerator. Okay, the numerator, we can factor out the numerator by x. So, x squared minus 4. Over the denominator is x times x. 2 times 4 is 8. And the third term is negative a, so we got to put the negative sign. And then this time, put the negative sum on the larger number because the sum has to be negative. So this is 2x. This product is negative 4x. Sum is negative 2x. Okay, so this same as the term in the middle. So the second term is x plus 2, x minus 4. Okay, for the, numerator, for the numerator, we haven't factored completely because the second factor, the binomial, is a difference of squares. So we can try one more time, you know, different squares, 4 is 2 squared. So we can make it a plus b, a minus b. So x times x plus 2, x minus 2. The denominator is factored completely. Okay. So from here, let's, fact let's cancel out the common factors, x plus 2, x plus 2. And then nothing. So the numerator is x times x minus 2 over there is only one factor, x minus 4. Okay, what are the restrict values? Okay, before we cancel out, before we cancel out from x plus 2, we can make the we can make x plus 2 equal to 0. This one cannot be equal to 0, so x is not equal to negative 2. And then the second factor cannot be equal to 0, so x cannot be equal to 4. So x can be, the domain is all real number x except negative 2 and 4. And this is the simplified form. So since there are two factors in the, in the denominator, we can find two restricted x values from each factor. Okay, this example. Uh, the numerator can be factored and denominator also can be factored. So, uh, because, uh, okay, let's try if both can be factored. So the numerator is x times 2x, and the third term is 4. So 4 can be, we can write it as 4 times 1. And then we can put both negative because the result has to be negative. So negative 4 times negative 1 is still positive 4. And then this cross multiply is negative 8x. This is negative x. The sum is the sum is negative 9x, which is same as the term in the middle. So the first one is the numerator is x minus 4, 
and 2x minus 1. Okay, the denominator. The order, in this case, the poly this trinomial is written in the ascending order. So still okay. You can move the, you can change the position of x squared and 12, interchange these two, but this is still okay. So 12 is 3 times 4, x, x squared is x times x, and we need negative sign, so let's put it on the, on here, because we want to make a positive result. So this is negative 3x, this product is 4x, sum is x. Okay, so the second, the denominator is 3 plus 4, and 4 minus x. Okay, if we look these factors carefully, the numerator has x minus 4, and the bottom has 4 minus x. Okay, do you remember that if the binomial is minus, a minus b, and if you switch these two, switch a and b with the same minus, then you have to put the negative sign. Always you have to put the negative sign. So by interchanging two terms, a, b, in the in binomial and with the minus, then you have to put the negative sign in front of this binomial. So in this case, the bottom is 4 minus x. So why don't we interchange 4 and x? So it becomes x minus 4. So x minus 4, 2x plus 1. Okay, the denominator is... Okay, in this case, this binomial, we can switch this binomial. This is 3, 3 plus x. Okay, sorry, this is 3 plus x. So we can switch these two because plus is okay. For addition, you know, the commutative property of addition, you can switch x plus 3 without changing, giving any, uh, multiplying any negative values. So this is okay. But the second factor, if you switch 4 and x, then we have to put the negative sign. So why don't we put the negative sign in front? Okay, this is really important, very, very important. So from here, we can do, we can cancel out x minus 4, x minus 4. So this minus sign can move to the front. And the numerator is 2x plus 1, denominator is x plus 3. Make sure the negative sign is outside. Okay, where? Okay, how about the restrict value? Restrict value comes from the denominator, each factor in the denominator before you cancel out. So from this, x cannot be equal to negative 3. And from this canceled out factor, x cannot be equal to 4. Okay, so always be careful. We can switch x and switch x and four, x and four. If this is subtraction, switch x and four, and put a negative sign outside the binomial. Okay, this is exercise number twenty. So let me let's simplify this rational expression. The numerator is x times two x. Five is uh, 1 times 5, and then put the negative sign on the smaller number, smaller number, because the cross, when you cross multiply, we need positive, positive result. So 3x is 3x. So the numerator is x minus 1, 2x plus 5. Over. Okay, the denominator, the order is okay. So 7 is 1 times 7, x squared is x times x, but we need negative sign, so let's put the negative sign on the larger product factor. So this is equal to negative 7x, this is x, sum is negative 6x, which is same as the term in the middle. So the denominator is 1 minus x, 7 plus x. Okay, look at the binomials carefully. Here it is x minus 1, and this is 1 minus x. So here it is x subtraction, x minus 1, 1 minus x. If we switch these two, okay, if you switch these two, then it will be x minus 1. So the numerator is x minus 1, and the denominator, switch this 1 and x, and x minus 1. 
we put the negative sign outside. Okay. So this is important. Whenever you get the binomial is a subtraction, whenever you switch two terms, you gotta put the negative sign. Okay, then x minus one, x minus one cancel out. So negative moves to the front. The numerator is two x plus five. Denominator is x plus of uh, seven plus x. We can in this case this is an addition, so we can just exchange these two terms, x plus seven. We usually write the x term first. Okay, then, and then the restrict values is from the first factor, before cancel out, x cannot be equal to 1. From the second factor, x cannot be equal to negative 7. Okay, these examples have uh, two variables. So it doesn't matter whether there are two variables, three variables, what we can do is Factor is the numerator and the denominator cancel out all the common factors to simplify the rational expressions. So in this expression, let's factor the numerator. The numerator, the common factor is y. So factor out y, then 3x plus y over the denominator is only 2y. Okay, and then there is a common factor y, so you can just cross out these y's then this is equal to the numerator is 3x plus y over 2. Okay, that's it. And then the restrict value is x is all real number. In x, x, there's no restrict value for x because x is in the numerator. So x is fine, but the denominator, y, y even y cancel out, we know that x, y can be any real number except 0. If y equals 0, denominator is 0. So the restrict value is what? Y equals not equal, y is not equal to zero. And then this is the simplified form. Okay, the next one. The numerator, what's the common factor in the numerator? Okay, so there is y only, so y, factor out y, and then 4x squared minus y squared over. Okay, the denominator, the common factor is x and y, x, y. Here is x, and here's y. So we take the smallest exponent, so x, y. Then parenthesis, 2x minus 1x out, 1y out, so 1y left. All right, how about the numerator? The numerator, the binomial factor, this is a difference of squares. This is difference of squares, 4 is 2 squares, so 2x squared minus y squared. So we can use a plus b, a minus b. So y times 2x plus y, 2x minus y over denominator is factored completely already. So from here, let's find the common factor and cancel out. So here it is y, y, cancel out, 2x plus y, no, nothing. And the next one is 2x minus y. We have 2x minus y in the numerator. So this is equal to the numerator, the leftover is 2x plus 5, 2x, 2x plus y, over the denominator, x. Okay. So this is the simplified expression. How about the restrict values? Okay, from the denominator, before you cancel out, x, okay, this x cannot be equal to zero, and this y also cannot be equal to zero, and this factor binomial cannot be equal to zero. So, okay, 2x minus y cannot be equal to zero, that means 2x is not equal to y. So you can write it as 2x is not equal to y. Or y is not equal to 2x. So these, these three are the restrict values. Okay, the next one is still the same thing. We will factor the numerator and then the denominator. So the numerator is, okay, we can factor out two because this is a common factor. So x squared plus xy minus 2y, 2y squared over 
Okay, the denominator, common factor is 5x. Here is 5, here's x, x. Okay, for this variable x, take the smallest exponent. So 5x, then x squared, minus y squared. Okay, the numerator, the trinomial in the numerator can be factored. x times x, y times 2y, and then put the negative sign on y. And this is equal to negative xy. This product is 2xy, sum is xy. Same as the term in the middle. So the numerator is x minus y times x plus 2y. And the denominator, the denominator of this binomial is also uh, can be factored. This is difference of squares. So we can make it as a plus b, a minus b. So x plus y, x minus y. Okay, then since both the numerator and denominators are factored completely, let's check common factors. x minus y, x minus y cancel out. And that's it. So the numerator is, uh, okay, here is 2, right? I didn't write this 2, sorry. So we, we gotta put the number two in the numerator as well. So the numerator is two times x plus two y over the denominator is five x times x plus y. Okay, so this is the simplified form and the district value is, okay, from this x, x can be a real number, but zero. From the second, Binomial, the, this binomial, x plus y is x plus x plus y cannot be equal to zero, so x is not equal to negative y. And then from the third one, x minus y cannot be equal to zero, so x is not equal to y. Cannot be equal to. So here are three restrict values. And then the others, this, this is the simplified expression. Okay, this is exercise 28 in page 292. Okay, the numerator, factor the numerator. So the numerator has a common factor, okay, for u and v. So factor out for u, v, then parenthesis, 4 and u went out, 4, four and u factored out, so we have only one uv, it's 4 uv factored out, and the minus, 4 times 3 is 12, u out, 1 v out, so we have 1 v left. Okay, the denominator is 18 uv. Okay, from here, we can reduce the numbers, so 4 divided by 2 is 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9. And u cancel out, v cancel out. So this is equal to, the numerator is 2 times u minus 3v over the bottom is 9. So this is the simplified expression. And the restrict value is, before we cancel out, this u and v cannot be equal to 0. So u is not equal to zero and v is not equal to zero. Okay, this example eight is about finding the ratio, ratio of the area of the shaded portion. Okay, here is the ratio. Okay, what, what is the expression for the ratio of a to b? a to b. The ratio of a to b is a fraction a over b. We usually write as a fraction like this, a over b. The first expression is the numerator, and the second expression is the denominator. So since we are finding the ratio of the area of the shaded portion, let's say this is equal to one, this shaded area, to the area of the triangle. So the whole triangle, let's say this is Two. So let's find the area of the shaded portion. So the area of shaded triangle is equal to, 
Okay, area is one half times base times height. So base base times height divided by two. Base times height divided by two. So this is equal to one half times the base is base of the shaded triangle is x plus four. Oh, sorry, four x. Four x. This is the base times the height is x plus two x plus 2. So we put parentheses. So 4x times x plus 2 is the height. And then the denominator is okay, the area. The area of the large triangle is same thing. 1 half times the base times height. So 1 half times the base is okay, the base is in this case this whole thing. So that is 8x. 8x. And then the height is x plus 4. Okay. So we have found the both the areas for the shaded parts and then the larger triangle. Okay, the, for the area of the first one, uh, we can cancel out these two, reduce 4 and 2, so it will be 2x. And then the area in the large triangle is 8 times 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the ratio, so the ratio of 1 to 2 is equal to, okay, the area of the shaded portion is 2x. Okay, we made it, we, we reduced 4 and 2, so that is 2x times x plus 2 over the denominator is 4x times x plus 4. So once we simplify this, that this, the area of the larger triangle is 4x times x plus 4. And this one is 2x times x plus 2. Okay. So from here, so this is the ratio of two triangles. And then from here we can Simplify. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, x, x cancel out. So we have x plus 2 over 2 times x plus 4. So this is the expression for the ratio of two triangles. And then we know that x can be, you know, the the length cannot be equal to zero or le uh, less than zero, negative or zero. So x has to be always greater than or equal to positive. I mean, so greater than greater than zero. Okay, greater than zero cannot be equal to zero or negative. So the district value, I mean, uh, the domain in this case, domain x should be positive only.